Saint Faustina Kowalska is one of the great mystic saints of the Church. Her encounters with Jesus has made a significant impact on the devotion of the faithful to the unfathomable mercy of God and to His call for us to turn back towards Him. Saint Faustina wrote down many of the visions and encounters with God in her diary. Her diary gives us great insight into the work of God and how each one of us can learn to become holier in the everyday moments of our lives. Today we look at St. Faustina's vision of Jesus that has come to be known around the world as the Divine Mercy Image. This image has been portrayed in two forms. The first is the original painting that was completed in 1934 with guidance given to the painter by St. Faustina herself. The second was painted ten years later after St. Faustina's death. The images have come to be fountains of grace, bringing many people back to God. And on the 22nd of February 1931, this is how St. Faustina encountered this image. We read in paragraph 47. In the evening, when I was in my cell, I saw the Lord Jesus clothed in a white garment. One hand was raised in the gesture of blessing, the other was touching the garment at the breast. From beneath the garment, slightly drawn aside at the breast, there were emanating two large rays, one red, the other pale. In silence, I kept my gaze fixed on the Lord. My soul was struck with awe, but also with great joy. After a while, Jesus said to me, Paint an image according to the pattern you see, with the signature, Jesus, I trust in you. I desire that this image be venerated, first in your chapel and then throughout the world. I promise that the soul that will venerate this image will not perish. I also promise victory over its enemies already here on earth, especially at the hour of death. I myself will defend it as my own glory. When I told this to my confessor, I received this for a reply. That refers to your soul. He told me, certainly paint God's image in your soul. When I came out of the confessional, I again heard words such as these. My image already is in your soul. I desire that there be a feast of mercy. I want this image, which you will paint with a brush, to be solemnly blessed on the first Sunday after Easter. That Sunday is to be the feast of mercy. Both these forms of Jesus represent the Christ risen, bearing the marks of crucifixion coming to us not as a judge, but as a merciful God. A distinctive feature of the image is the two rays that emanate from the heart of Jesus, one red and the other pale. Saint Faustina's confessor once told her to ask Jesus for the meaning of the rays, and Jesus answered. We read in paragraph 299. During prayer, I heard these words within me, the two rays denote blood and water. The pale ray stands for the water which makes souls righteous. The red rays stand for the blood which is the life of souls. These two rays issued forth from the very depths of my tender mercy when my agonized heart was opened by a lance on the cross. These rays shield souls from the wrath of my Father. Happy is the one who will dwell in their shelter, for the just hand of God shall not lay hold of him. I desire that the first Sunday after Easter be the Feast of Mercy. 
And another time, in paragraph 3 to 6, Jesus said to St. Faustina, My gaze from this image is like my gaze from the cross. Jesus also summarizes for us the importance of the words under the image and the importance of the image itself. We read in paragraph 327, Once my confessor asked me where the inscription should be placed, because there was not enough space in the picture for everything. I answered, I will pray and give you an answer next week. When I left the confessional and was passing before the Blessed Sacrament, I received an inner understanding about the inscription. Jesus reminded me of what he had told me the first time, namely that these three words must be clearly in evidence. Jesus, I trust in you. I understood that Jesus wanted the whole formula to be there, but he gave no direct orders to this effect as he did for these three words. I am offering people a vessel with which they are to keep coming for graces to the fountain of mercy. That vessel is this image with the signature, Jesus, I trust in you.